Alright guys, we're back, Break Room Blitz. Thanks for joining us. I'm your boy DeAnthony, and my boy Don, and my boy Conj over here. I'm back. So we just got through watching... Stranger Things. Stranger oh, yeah. Things. The plot follows the disappearance of a young boy and a telekinetic girl who helps his friends in their search. While the boy's older brother, mother, and the town police chief start their own investigation. The show is set in the, in the 80s. And it kind of has like a Steven Spielberg, Stephen King kind of vibe to it. Yeah, definitely twisted. You guys agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, from would you guys say that people should be watching this? Absolutely. Yes. You know, and I don't know okay. why I held off on it for so long, but like it was getting a lot of How attention. Uh, it's been out it's for been like a, a month or so. Yeah, it's been out for a month. I didn't, about, I didn't about watch a it month, until yeah. probably about. Mid last month, maybe towards the end of last month. And yeah, same here. I kept on hearing it was it not that long. Yeah, not yeah. too long. No, I heard it from a lot of people that it was good, and I watched it myself, and I thought it was great. Yeah, I binge watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Marathon. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny actually. Um, I, st I I told myself, okay, I'll only watch four episodes, and I'll watch another. And yeah. then I got to the fourth episode where the plot started to get really like grungy, and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna watch this, and I, I, I realized not too long afterwards, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, and I had to be up at 4. <laughs> oh, so you guys agree with Rotten Tomatoes? Um, oh, uh, this time. Yeah, absolutely. This time. Yeah, this yeah. time, I believe it. So. They, they made it right. Yeah. <laughs> they watched it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so what is this, does this remind you of anything? Because for me, it did definitely remind me of, like, Super 8. Super 8 is yeah. the Super movie. Super 8, yeah. but, it's mm -hmm. a, but in 10 episodes... Right. And kind of um, E.T. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly those two. We got, you know, Super 8. We got those kids, the 80s kids, you know, the old school kind of vibe out of it. And then, you know, that whole Super 8, you know, supernatural aspect out of it. And then, like, kind of like uh, Goonies-ish, you know? I was know? waiting for it, yeah. So, like, go, go like, handle it. Like, yeah. what, what did you remind you of? No, like, that, that's just it. Like, uh, it, it, it reminded me more of, because the, the thing is, Super 8 got its feel from the Goonies. Um, that's that's where oh. that movie, like, really, oh. if you really look at it, yeah, the yeah, kids. Yeah, absolutely. That, and so, like, I mean, it's a transition, but you get the Goonies. I got Goonies and E.T. out of this. Um, and yeah. uh, I got a little bit of It from uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen King. Oh. Um, that was one thing I could because the horror aspect horror is very, element, very yeah. similar to, to it yeah. and the kids, and you know, they got older and so on. But yeah, so I, I that was, uh, it took me back. Yeah. Yeah, it reminded me of, I think it was called Night Terrors. Or it was a, it was a, a Stephen King movie that he was having Night Terrors, and there was the monsters coming out of the wall, and things like that. Oh, wow, okay. I forget the name of the movie. I should, probably should have looked it up. Well, it's not yet. <laughs> we'll post a picture of it. <laughs> well, maybe someone's gonna come and say, "Hey, it's this movie, dude." Right? <laughs> they might. Yeah. Um, so, what, if anything, did this move you in any way, or how did this move you, or anything? Any way you connected with it? Yeah, I mean, like right out of the gate, you know, they have this like, it, like these kids are sitting down playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I was like, I'm gonna love this thing. I love it. All right, we're good. It's gonna be great. I can't connect to it because ten hours of Dungeons and Dragons, I'm done. Oh yeah, ten I mean, hours. I, I wasn't a fan of Dungeons and Dragons. Never even played it. Yeah. So, but okay. I mean, if even if you play like a RPG, like all these like video games nowadays, RPG, uh, they all like you know get everything from that Dungeons and Dragons board game-esque kind of feel of a game. So I mean, like off of that, and these kids are on bikes, I remember being out in the front and I was like, felt like king of the neighborhood on my bike, you know, just all over the place. Their, their bikes were like freaking Jimmy rigged and they had like these car lights on them. Oh, and I was, just, I, was just, I was like, so these are obviously intelligent kids that they rigged their own bikes like this. But um, I really like the cleverness of, of just the introduction because you got to meet all of them and you got their personalities and the introduction was just like bam like the, the you could i knew what i was in for with every single one of these characters and by far dustin was my favorite <laughs> yeah. i love that kid um but uh you know just like you know the little list thing and the missing teeth up in the front he just does a significance to it so the introduction was a lot of fun i myself I, i've never officially played D. &D. i've i've have plenty of friends that have i've i've never been I, like i never played it yet um, I will though eventually, but uh, mm -hmm. I, I definitely I will. I will. It's like you said, like you said, you know, a ten-hour campaign. Like I, I don't know. If I, I usually, if I'm sitting down too long watching a show, I, I if I'm watching it for more than three hours, I get start to get antsy, feeling like I have to do something. So ten hours of playing a board game, 
I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> but um, I, I would try it. Monopoly. I would so. definitely try it. <laughs> I've never played Monopoly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> never. Wow. Yeah. Have yeah. you played Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. But you've never played Monopoly. But I never finished Dungeons and Dragons. Wow. I never finished. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, for me, it, and I asked you guys that because it, it wasn't anything I could connect to. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't grow up in a neighborhood like that. I did when I was a kid. I had one friend on the block, so it definitely wasn't a bunch of us. Um, I mean, I guess I could connect with the the black kid somewhat, only because he looked like me, I guess. But as far as the theme, I mean, I, I appreciate the retro feel. Yeah. You know, as I think it's you know giving reverence to like a certain type of film, and I think I, I do appreciate that. But as far as like connecting with anyone, I couldn't really connect with any of the characters actually. Yeah. I just watch it for you guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate the heart. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I was interested. When I saw that you know, it was a Netflix original, I'm like, oh, it's going to be good. Right. Yeah. So I'm into Netflix, what they, what they produce. I appreciate them. It just didn't connect for me. Okay. Um, but yeah. Agreed. So disagree. we know your, what your favorite character is. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have a favorite character? Uh, I mean, if I had a favorite character. Oh, I just got to reenact this real quick. <laughs> right. Yeah, just go for that, it. that part where he's like, he's like. Clothes. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you, laugh. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, like, for to get naked. L or eleven. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if I can actually connect to a character. Um, I mean, I have favorite characters. Obviously, we had no, that one. Character? Uh, I think it, it was like the the one uh, main character of the the kid. Uh, what's his face? Um, Finn was, or Mike? Mike. That's Mike. Yeah, Finn's Mike. The actor. Mike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike was the leader. Oh, yeah, he's the one that's trying to you know, oh, yeah, find yeah, yeah, his yeah. friend, basically. Yeah. And he's right. just like, he doesn't give up, you know? He's like, that's my best friend. No, I'm yeah. not going to take it for, you know, what, you know, says, you know, he's dead, and I don't think he's dead. We got to find him. So he's still all about that. I, I like that aspect of it. So, because I didn't dislike anyone, and I, because of the, I did like the acting. But yeah. I didn't yeah. like anyone either. Like, I know you said it was funny. I guess Dustin was kind of funny. Well, no, there, there's like legit reasons why I really appreciate this character. What was the so, reasons? Okay, sorry, I went into like the funny comedic thought. But the thing is, uh, to me, Dustin was the core of, of just kind of, you know, when they hit the fan and he's looking at them going like, no, we're not doing this. Like, I remember the one part where, um, you know, they were setting up and they were getting all the, the, the gear together and, you know... Um, you know, they, they started putting stuff on the table, and you know, they want to start putting knives and everything on the table. And they're like, What'd you bring? And he's like, Oh, here. And it's like Twinkies, crackers, and all this other stuff. And it was funny, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, I'm thinking, as I'm thinking that, he's the one on the trip that's like, We're like, Yeah, we got all this cool stuff. And like, What are we going to eat? Right. <laughs> you know, so it's like, You know, he, he is that oddball character who brings the stuff that's not necessarily a necessity. He thinks outside the box. He does. Really. But, you know? And he, in a sense, he's kind of thinking, like, I know I'm going to get hungry. Right. You know, so he's like, I'll make sure everyone's going to eat. For but, me, it but, seemed like he was thinking as a kid. Because as a kid, right. that's what you would bring. You wouldn't be bringing weapons and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But remember you know, the part where they were fighting, and he just basically stopped them both, and he's on, no. Right. You guys got to no, You guys got to be friends. We got to do this together. Yeah. And he calls them out, and he has no shame in calling them on, on them being stupid. Right. And the thing is, I've always appreciated that honesty, especially when you have friends that are that honest like with you. Teamwork, yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know what, now shut up, you shut up, and shake hands. Everybody love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, at that point, I appreciate that friend because... You know, we, we scuffled a little bit. We disagreed. Okay, yeah. we disagreed. But he's the, he's the ref that says, all right, now stop being idiots and realize that we're friends. Yeah. And it's okay to disagree, but we got to come back together. And that was a pinnacle point for me to love Dustin even more, just because he broke the part of group. He, he reminded me, if I were to call him a, a character from the Goonies, he was a mix, a mixture of mouth and Chuck. <laughs> and and so that's, that's you know, that's <laughs> what I really, I, I, I mean, if you think about so, it, it's, it's really kind of what it was. And it's yeah. just... I, I enjoyed it. So. It was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's and, why I, I like that. I mean, he got bullied too. Yeah, definitely. He, he, he gets bullied a lot, and but he, he takes it. Yeah. yeah, he takes it. He gets back up and he, he pulls it off. He's and he, but like, he's also man. there to back up his friends. And it's just like, oh man, like that's that's a that's a homie right there. That's someone I will love to live and have known when I was a child and grow up to see through. Yeah, I definitely like yeah. their 
their moral compass was centered around friendship. Mm-hmm. You know, friends don't lie. We always tell the truth. Right, exactly. yeah. You know, so I really did like that because I feel like in today's society, that's just not the case. No, right. You know, you think you have a friend, but then you try to get at your girl. You think you have a friend, but then he talk about you behind your back. You know, so it's like, to, in today's world, we don't get that camaraderie. And I think that, you know, I did appreciate how they their, their moral compass was surrounded by friendship, you know, yeah. so, and I guess it would have to keep one, keep believing that if, that their friend, so, uh, Will, was still yeah. alive, you mm-hmm. know, so, I'd have been like, yo, he's dead. It's all the body, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's all the body. You know, what are you talking about? Right. You know, so, I, I did, I did appreciate that. I was able to connect with that. There were some things, it wasn't a, a terrible show for me, <laughs> but it was just real mediocre. It was real, just average. It didn't, like, have any spikes, like, oh. Mm-hmm. For me, um, but that's just, I think it's just my upbringing. I didn't grow up like that or like them, mm-hmm. so I wasn't able to really connect. Sure, but just looking uh, for the ride. Yeah, I, I and there were some things that I did appreciate, you know. But as far as like just watching it, binge watching it, man, I had to really like power through. Push through, yeah. through like. <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I will say this: the, after the, after the first introduction and after the show was going, it was kind of going at a steady pace for me. It wasn't. Like, oh my God, I wasn't, like, oh my, like, you know, people, everyone's, like, making a big deal about it. And I'm just like, okay, you know, I'm enjoying this. There's some cool elements to it, but the story hasn't really hit the, the marker for me yet. If anything, the characters were doing more for me than the story was. Okay. But then when it reached the fourth episode and started going in and it started getting a bit more complex, and, and I really loved, i got to give full credit to Winona Ryder's character because yeah. she really tipped the jar on playing that crazy, but she wasn't crazy at all, Mother, and the cleverness with the lights and just those little things. <clears throat> she was um, good. I did like her. Yeah, on a, on a, you know, on a filmography level and, um, and just, just the characters, it just it, that carried the show. And then once the plot thickened and the story got stronger... I was 100% sold. Right? 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I think if they would have, you know, not only was the filmography, you know... Cinematography, sorry. That's like it's, in, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, in the uh, 80s, but I felt like the storytelling was also from the 70s and 80s, oh, where yeah, show less small time, is you know, more. Small, small mm-hmm. time and I don't want to... Don't show less. I want you to show me what are we talking about. Yeah. I'm done with that because they did that because if they showed you everything, it wouldn't have been that good. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, Jaws and a lot of these monster movies, a lot of the most of the movie, you don't see the actual monster. Yeah. That's because, you know, if they did, it wouldn't be that great, you know. So I get it why they were doing it then, but I feel like now you need to show me. I would have wanted to see the monster more. I would have wanted more of like the last two episodes. I would have wanted more of that throughout the whole thing. And I just didn't get it and it, it just bugged me a little bit. Like yeah. I think for the uh, for that reason, just to like piggyback off that, I, I can see that they wanted to build us like a foundation of this because it's not going to be the only season. It's not just a run, one run show. We never know. Uh, oh pre- no, no, they already pretty sure, pretty season. sure. I th- yeah, I think they already. But you don't ever second. know though, right? When so they, they could come yeah. up and then they're like, oh no, you know what? It, they announce it now. Yeah. But- Right, time. Right. So they can they could always cancel whenever it happens all the time, you know, just like with Ghostbusters. <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah. So I mean, if if you know, they they, they showed us you know uh, origin story of where these kids came from, where the story takes place, and then maybe they could explore a little bit more of like this other realm or dimension, you know. I th- That's fine. One, yeah, one of the things I liked about it too was it defined a new terminology for like you know back in the day when you were kids, you were like. Oh, the boogeyman! Oh, he lives in, in you know in the shadows, and he live, and this this character lives in the underneath, mm-hmm. and so that was kind of a cool. It was so simple, and it just it, it's like you know now I can see kids like you know parents being like, be careful of the underneath, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. and I I can see that you know the, the the monsters under your bed, you know it kind of creates that new. It's so small and minuscule, but it's enough, and. Um, you know, the, the creature itself was very simple, too. All it did, it, it, it was a mixture of aliens and predator and maybe something else because it had the open mouth, right. no face, and then it looked like what it did was it injected something inside of you that eventually grew inside of you or came out of you or what. That's I mean, that's what happened to Will at the end of the, the when they found him. So, like, there, there's just, like, I, I see all these nostalgic elements that bring brought some of the best films that I've enjoyed into this show. And so nostalgia hits at that point too. So, um. and that's and since you brought that up, that's a, an issue that I have is that does he eat things? 
<laughs> or does he inject them with something? Or is he deciding? Is it intelligent? You know, what is this thing? Right. And, and, and I get different things every time they show up because mm-hmm. the girl had the stuff come out of her mouth. So they will. Right. And then he eats. He, I, we see him several times eating things. I'm like, well, yeah. Well, what is that? Well, I, I don't know. I, and then like the whole little, um, I guess, cocoon or whatever in the wall where they, that they walk through. It's like yeah. a portal like, or something. Right. Where did that come from? Exactly. I, no one's ever talking about that. No. I, and, I, and I feel like they're not going to. It's going to just move on because they all just abandoned the, the place, you know. But I don't know. There's just some things that I just want to know that I can be like, oh, okay. But I just didn't get it, and it did, I didn't feel like I, I was ever going to, and it just wasn't. For that reason, it wasn't that interesting to me. Yeah. Because I like to, I like it to be complete. Because I never know if I'm going to get another season. See, I don't mind it not being complete because my my mind it runs like okay, so it just fills in the blanks automatically. <laughs> this thing is like some Guillermo del Toro like type figure looking thing from Hellboy, and you know it's like alien creature from this other dimension and it's parasitic and it not only feeds on blood but can smell blood like mm-hmm. a shark and you know it plants you know like whatever you know parasite in this dead corpse or body so it's just like yeah. you know, the direct connection some, with some kind of Elle. patch yeah. yeah it's almost like you know Elle uses her powers and, and she bleeds mm-hmm. and that's a direct bell for him like he knows where she's at at every there's time a, there's a dinner bell right there you know so it's like i mean there's there's a lot of parallels even like i feel like i should watch it again to get more of those parallels because like you i ask questions yeah and i i do realize that what what they would used for her and this thing she's number 11 so there had to have been 10 more exactly and so that that, that brings up questions like what happened but to they the might have been failures though yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they might have been failures, or maybe they tried to do the same thing, and where L succeeded in coming back to the, the realm that we're in, they didn't. And maybe that's where those monsters derived. There's all these questions that I have, mm. and in my head I'm thinking, like, what's a creative way that they're going to tell this story with the hints that they've dropped? But that's the beautiful thing about this story, is there's no limits to where they can take this story now. And they probably, they most likely have it all written out. They know what's going to happen. But I just, yeah. you know, the fact that my man's dwelling on that and still invested into the show already, even afterwards, I'm thinking, like, they did a good job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like with, you know, any other show, like, I mean, you, you take Game of Thrones, for example. It's probably one of the, my favorite shows out right now. And, you know, they showed us the White Walkers, and then we had no idea where they came from. But then shortly they didn't focus after, on them, though. They weren't the right. focus, so it was okay. But winter was always coming, <laughs> right? <laughs> for like how many seasons? <laughs> and right. then finally it came, and it but was like a so bunch of white There were so many other good slots that it was like, okay, well, we'll just leave that in the background. <laughs> exactly. We'll to it later. Yeah. But this one circled around it. Yeah. It yeah, centered yeah. around it, mm-hmm. and so it was like, well, okay, tell me something. All yeah. right. Well, okay, what is this? Like, I did like how they said the environment was toxic. Yeah, because um, I was like, "What is all this ash?" I did like the ash in the yeah. in the uh, yeah. different dimension. I never seen that before. They really made like this different dimension, really parallel to ours, the mm-hmm. way it looks, right. but like super different. Yeah, you know? and I'm assuming there's more than one. So what I, what I felt about the creature itself is, you know, I started realizing that you know maybe it was taking kids to replicate because they were younger. I don't know yet, but um, it killed it killed her friend. Mm-hmm. Um, it killed most of the older people. But it was if you looked in the room that they had walked into. There were kids in there. Um, there was one kid hanging upside down. So I, I figured it maybe maybe this thing replicated with children specifically, uh, which is why it didn't kill Will. You know, and that's why Will survived so long, and he was great at hiding. You know, that type of thing. And well, I think so, I don't see how he, how he got away. Um, her friend didn't get away. I don't see how he got away because the the monster was right there. Now, can he see? Mm-hmm. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's just using smell, and maybe like his hearing. I don't know. But if he can see, there's no way Will should have been able to get away. Plus, the, I don't think he can see. I think he goes by the scent of blood. Because if you think about it, too, because um, Will, Will, Will didn't cut himself mm-hmm. when he got nicked, right? But her friend did. Her friend had the, the cut. I thought he cut in her he hand. He didn't yeah. cut, he cut himself. Because um, he took off that night, right? Riding his bike. Yeah. And that's when he kind of disappeared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless he fell off his bike or something. But they never showed a cut or anything. So the thing is, when he... And when they found him originally, he was underneath the sink. So when Will went there, his first thing to do was run because I mean, naturally, this freaking monster's there with, with him. So I'm feeling, I'm thinking that he ran back to the house. He knows his house. The creature doesn't know his house, so he knew how, where to hide. And mm-hmm. they dropped that little little hint, and then you know, it didn't they didn't embellish on it at all. Like it was just like Will's a really good hider. Mm-hmm. And so you know, um, <coughs> I honestly think that that's that's what kept him. So he can't see. 
Huh? Yeah, the monster see. can't see. I think the <clears throat> monster specifically smells blood. And yeah. he can hear, but he can't see. That would make sense because when um, his when uh, Mike's sister goes into the um, I guess the, the underneath yeah. right. bullet, yeah. I feel like she shouldn't have been able to get away either. Right. And all she did was hide behind a tree. I'm like, and it did look like immediately you didn't see her behind, behind a tree. Exactly. And she yeah. never cut herself, so he couldn't smell her. Right. And that's mm-hmm. that's why like that that creature thrives off of blood specifically. So and maybe that's it. Maybe those who aren't bleeding, he takes to try to, re- to recreate into him or something like that. Or maybe he uses it to plant seeds or what, I don't know. But then, you know, at the end, he yeah. coughs up one of those slugs and it's like, what the fuck was that? I know. Now, that, now, the last two episodes, I really did like. I'm not going to say I didn't like the show at all. The last <laughs> two, I did like. That is what I like in the show, the last two episodes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you guys can compare those two. If you can see a difference in the first six and the last two, yeah. you can kind of see where I am with it. Uh, I wish they would have did a little bit more of that. Uh, I do want to know what happens to him, you know, because because as a kid, if I'm flickering in and out of the underneath, I'm like, Mama, yeah. <laughs> so, I would so, not keep yeah. nothing a secret. No, yeah. absolutely not. And this kid's like quiet yeah. and they're like, I'm, so I was just like, I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, not only that, but at the end where they, the cop goes to drop off waffles to that box. <clears throat> That's that's a hint right there that L is still there. I didn't yeah. like that. I don't. I, I'm curious. I'm look, we're going to come back. Sorry, to that. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. let's stay on uh, track here. Go. Let's, 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 let's stick on the list. Well, let's see. Yeah. Um, is there any characters you guys didn't like or, or like the least? I definitely have one. Uh, if you don't know, I'm mean, gonna start with mine. It was the sheriff. You know what? And I was gonna say the sheriff too, but I mean, you know, uh, the fact that I didn't like him, I didn't like uh, his character at the beginning. Because uh, everything was just like, you know, you know, mornings are for coffee and contemplation, don't ask me anything. Uh, I was like, okay, he's going to be a douchebag character, but he's acting good as that douchebag cop. But then he, you know? he, he turns into a douchebag again at the end by giving away the kid's location. Because to me, if you're so gung-ho of saving kids, mm-hmm. then why would you allow them to go find them on their own you, you're not going to be there to supervise what the government does to them. You give the location away. They could have killed all the kids, grabbed L, mm-hmm. and came back, killed you guys, or locked you up, or whatever. Right. I feel like this wasn't a good idea, and he was just like, so like, well, this is what it is. Just be quiet. If you want to find your kid, this is what we have to do. Right, right. And you couldn't tell them they were at like, the police station or somewhere else? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that, that call at all. Right, right. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing, though, is him being who he is. He, you know, like, and I really mean, I agree with you, because I'm thinking, like, really, you just told on the kids. Right, exactly. Like, what's the matter with you? Yeah. You know, I would at least give them a different location. Oh, they're here. They're not really here. Right, 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 right. But, um, you know, I understand, like, the whole method of, you know, being that person. You have sometimes have to make the bad call, so to speak. But I still didn't agree with it. Like, I just, yeah. I get it to an extent. Like, you get this much credit for me. Right, right. But, I st- yeah, I still, like, eh. Yeah. To, to me, it was, I, I felt that it was the... Just wrapping up the story. Mm-hmm. Like, if we tell them somewhere else, well, how are they actually going to find the kids, and how uh, yeah. is the ending going to happen? Right. For the sake of time, they they wanted to make that climactic moment where right. you had like the cops and the kids, the monster, everything's just like. Wait, but still, I feel like I don't know. It could have been written a little bit better. Yeah, um, absolutely. Because I felt like it it just tarnished his character. He betrayed them to be ultimately. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, are you going to be a bad guy? Or are you going to be a good guy? Well, even then, at the end, they kind of left it in the tell hanger because he goes he goes back to the the building, <clears throat> or not to the building, but he gets picked up by the government and he's back out in the street like nothing ever happened. So it's like. Right. Did what, he get recruited? What happened? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, what's going on? And, you know, that, that, that's the thing, too, is, like, I mean, his daughter died. And so there, there's there's, some, there's something. I feel like there's going to be some connection with his daughter later on. I don't know why, but I just, I'm feeling it. And um, that's going to be really interesting. Maybe. Maybe they made a, um, maybe they know more about the underneath than they've, you know, introduced. Yeah. So they can say, you know, if you want to see your daughter again, you know, we can make that happen. Exactly. And maybe that's why he gave up the kids. I don't know. Maybe that's what they talked about in the car. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, I'm a, I'll give him that benefit of the doubt, but I just did not like that mm-hmm. um, aspect. And I didn't like him in the beginning. Um, I don't think that his personality reflects a chief, and I don't care if it's a small right. uh, city or large. Yeah, um, it just didn't fit to me. I like the 
uh, the cook a lot better. I like his personality way better. In the beginning, yeah, and then they killed, I was so mad that they killed him. I'm like, I liked him. He, he was the guardian for the kids. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was the only one that cared about the kids. I dug that dude. Like, and then they shot yeah. him, and I'm like, aww. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, and, oh, that's another thing that, that made me not like it, because I did not get any intellectual value. If I'm going to spend 10 hours of watching something, you need to be wrecking my brain. Yeah. You know, and I felt like everything was predictable at every turn. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Even when she was telling, when she spelled out the letters on, underneath the lights and she said, where are you? Right. And in my mind, I was like, right here. But I'm, because that's not the first thing. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. I'm like, I know they're not going to say that. It never happens. He spells out R I G H T. I'm like, oh my God. Right here. Are you serious? Called it. Got him. Like, you can say home or next to you or something. And it, I don't think I'm the smartest guy ever, so I shouldn't be able to predict all this stuff. Yeah. And the fact that it was just predictable really made it mediocre. I think the only intellectual value that they did uh, talk about was uh, to the science teacher uh, with that whole radio. Every now and then they would ask him a question like, hey, if I one. wanted to uh, you know, go through another dimension, what would I need to do? He's like, oh, well, you need to put it in water. You can do it like this. He's like, yeah, I wanna, I'm writing this down. Cool. That was kind of cool. I'm like, this teacher know everything. Yeah. yeah right? So, so it's like, you know, he, the, he teaches them about like time travel. I'm giving space. this guy due credit because when Dustin calls him up and he's sitting there with a hot chick, I'm sitting there going like, damn, like homies, they gave, they, okay, that nerds were getting some back then. This is great, <laughs> right? You know. So I was just like, I was like, you go, you go teach. You, right. You, you, you rock that. <laughs> So, <laughs> so you guys would you say it was kind of predictable, or you didn't feel that way? Uh, there are moments where I I, pre I kind of predict this stuff, but um, I honestly like sometimes when I get lost in the movie so much, mm -hmm. I, I I start I stop doing what people what most people do is it was that they they're watching it while being a critic, right? Right. And mm -hmm. um, you I, have to enjoy it, right? Yeah. Just sit back and, and enjoy the show. And that that's the, like, that's also one of the biggest flaws I see with critics nowadays is they get so lost in criticizing the movie instead of doing what they did in the beginning, which is getting lost in this new world. Right, overanalyzing yeah. is like, just like, and, and, <clears throat> and having your own expectations and turning that switch off to what you think is gonna happen and just enjoying it. Because, yeah. you know, episode one kind of, uh, you know, at the same time it, I loved it, but then I was like, okay, where is this going? And then I thought it was just going to be a horror movie. And then when they brought up the whole dimension thing, I was like, okay, now you got my curiosity because I'm all about that, yeah. you know? extra dimensions and creatures of like other realms okay let's hear about that so would you say that the monster was a demon or was he just no i think he was just <laughs> a creature of another dimension yeah but i think that there's a little bit more to it too um yeah, I, but yeah. i think they triggered off something like oh, so you ever watched that uh, you ever watched that movie the mist i was gonna say the mist yeah it, it reminds me exactly of the mist they started messing around they ended up opening the portal and bringing out all these randomized creatures right yes and so i thought of the same thing and the thing is i knew when they sent l there through the water right um you know she is what caused the split between both universes exactly that right. and um so exactly. that's where i know that where that portal came from and or the video game half-life you know where you actually get the g-man which is like the government kind of thing exactly and then the mist kind of interplays with all mm -hmm. that creatures so. and then it also states that <laughs> it also stated well in it in, in a small way the portal that was outside in the world was smaller that rip in that pair that 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 different split between the universes was created by the creature Mm -hmm. The rip that was created in there was by L, so that also stated how strong L was compared to the monster. So there was a parallel I made with that right away, and I'm thinking like, so this is how, so maybe this is why this creature wants L so much, because if he consumes her, he probably becomes twice as strong. Mm -hmm. I don't think that in, in my idea. mind, I didn't see that there was an actual connection as far as like, you know, you're taking my abilities or you. I just thought, I just thought that he said. That he, in his mind, or his mind, but to him, his instincts were like, this is something I need to be eating or capturing. Yeah. She's here, so let me get her. I, I didn't feel like it was like a connection, um, because they only really interacted one time, as far as like out, outside the room. It wasn't like she would, like the monster was trying to find her. Yeah. Um, I didn't get that connection. Um, the blood is, you know, for sure, you know, of course he's going to smell it, but it wasn't like... He showed up every time she did her powers or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, but that's just me. I don't know if everyone else felt that way or not. But um, but I seem to be in the um, 
the, I guess the minority here, because <laughs> I'm the one, the only one that seemed to be in the whole world didn't like the show. Yeah, well, no, I, I think, well, I think like, uh, <laughs> well, like it's, it's a play balance. I mean, the thing is, you did enjoy the last couple episodes, which means there's a point where you did enjoy the show. So maybe if so, they like yeah. season two kicks off it with uh, you know you something like that. Yeah, All right. yeah. <laughs> I agree though. I agree though, because yeah, they have a lot of momentum <clears> and they need yeah. to keep it. They, I think honestly, like I, I was kind of thinking in my head, how can they open it up to make it different this time around? And if they open it up with the underneath and start giving, like, immediately dropping bombs and making you think about what the hell's going on, they put bring Al back into the picture, they have a surplus of these creatures now. If they really, like, drop us in that bucket right away with the underneath, I feel like they're going to just, I'm, everyone's going to be like... like <laughs> right, yeah, right, right, right. So it's like... Yeah. So what did you guys think about Al? Was she, um, <laughs> believable? Was, it, was she awesome? Was She, she I mean, was so curious to me because I had no idea, like, you know what exactly she was capable of and like you know she knew she was completely clueless about actually l being around other kids and what friendship was and she was pretty much like our Wolverine slash Jean Grey yeah, of, of this whole I like group you know that, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> so it's like time. like she, she she just like was uh, um, uh, underrated and you know slowly she started appreciating the friendship and making those bonds be with the kids and stuff and she became one of the friends, you know? So, I mean, her character did evolve, but I mean, um, you know, there was a lot of mystery behind her, and I don't, I feel like we, we still don't know a lot about, like, where she came from and why she was 11, and, you know, did, did, was she just born with those powers, or were they developed over time? Mm -hmm. For me, um, I liked just her person mm -hmm. versus her powers. Mm -hmm. Her powers were very mediocre to me, as far as like telekinesis. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. She wasn't doing a lot. Uh, yeah, she could kill people, which mm -hmm. that part was kind of cool. <laughs> but um, it wasn't until like the last two episodes where you really got to see her like slamming doors and sure, doing yeah. what she wants, like, throwing people across. Uh -huh. You know, so like the first four episodes, I'm like, well, she hasn't really done anything. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of like. Let's let's get these powers out, you know. Yeah. I mean, get me interested, you know. Yes. Um, but she's terrified of them. She doesn't understand them herself, you know. And I, I actually, I started to feel really. Now, bad. Are we, see, I feel like you just created that right now. Huh? She never said that she was terrified. Oh, of them. oh no! To well, totally. Look at her. When she knows that when she uses them, they drain her. She also knows that when she uses them, they bleed. But when I run, I get tired too. I don't mean. Um, but uh, you okay? So you mean like to me, looking at her face and her expressions when she uses the power and she she does these things? Yeah, she gets caught in that moment. But when she gets caught in that moment, she gets kicked out of it. She's just got this look to her, and she she doesn't feel right. She yeah, she looks she pale. Awkward, you know, like and, it, it, I do see it like sucking yeah, something out tired. of her. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like you said, you, you, but at the same time, I, I can see it in her. But also, the thing is. Her entire life, and they've shown it throughout the show. Her entire life there, her powers were never used for her own will, and they made her use them, and they used her as a tool. And mm -hmm. that, that's the beautiful thing on this side of things, you know. And it's also an underground like statement, you know, how perverse people are when they feel that like they have a weapon or they have something they can use to their advantage. Right. And difference when kids come into play, they just want to be her friend, and they understand that she doesn't understand these things, and she just. The fact that she's feeling love and affection for the first time and, and consideration, it's it's giving her something she's never had in her life. So I like these are things that I really yeah, her dad really from. really irked me. Or yeah. her papa. I'm not gonna yeah. say her dad, but yeah. who she called papa. papa. Yeah. It really irked me because I don't like manipulation like that. I don't like for you to uh, hinder, <clears throat> you know, kids being kids. You know, you manipulating her to do things that she doesn't want to do or letting her have people do things to her that she doesn't want to have done to her mm -hmm. that bothered me. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, and not, and not to mention, good, she, she communicated it, but, very yeah. effectively to him that this is not what she wanted. Like, you know, mm -hmm. she's a kid. She just, and you know, that, that one part where like they throw her in the room and she's like, I'm done being in this room and she freaking, <laughs> right. And then like the guy, the guy comes in there like, oh my God, you did this. And I'm just like, you're a jerk. Yeah. I so I think this, they, they, they are jerks because they could have put her in a nice room. It had to be an eight yeah. by eight cell. Like, right. what the hell? She's she's like, she didn't deserve right. that. And so, like, you yeah. know, when she's out in the world, you, I'm so stoked that she's with these kids because I love these kids already. I would love to have kids like this. And I'm glad this little girl who's, not, who's been denied her childhood 
to finally get it and, right. f- and feel that. Like, I'm just like, yes. And then, I'm sorry, but the reason why I really enjoyed Elle is she loves waffles as much as I do. <laughs> you, buy, you would steal ten boxes of waffles? You know what? If I were hungry, I would steal waffles. I like waffles, too. All right. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I liked her, her person yeah. more than, I guess, the character, I guess, with the powers and everything. Right, right, yeah. Her just interacting with the kids. She didn't say a lot. She didn't have a lot of no, lines, no, no, no. but like her facial expressions, mm-hmm. her body, um, I guess movements, her body language mm-hmm. was, I, I felt like, I want to say genius. I was like, how old is she? Right? Right. The yeah. child acting was ecstatic in this. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's so amazing that the kids in this movie just like, ah, uh, just home run. Right. right. Each, each one of these kids had their own particular character oh, yeah. and, and personality about them. Which I, Completely loved, and yeah. especially L. Well, you know? Also, sometimes like comparing to Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder's been doing this for ages, you know. And right. Ages. That's horrible. I didn't mean that, darling. Um, she has. But there were scissor hands. But um, the, the the child acting was equally comparison and effective. Like I'm sitting there going, like, like wow. Right. Yeah, they they yeah. definitely did some good casting. I would oh, say. Yeah. I just I would like more. I would like better writing. That's my gripe. It's not the acting. I like the acting. I like the cast. It's just, I mean, they did what they were supposed to do. They right. read the script and they they performed. Mm-hmm. It's just the writing I felt like needs to step up a little more because what they're giving as actors, right? I'm like, man, because when it comes to the story, good. like uh, I think they stayed on par with, you know, okay, they wanted to make it suspenseful and thrilling, and it was a lot more suspense, like leading you on, leading you on, and then like ultimately getting you somewhere. Where it's just like, meet the monster. I like that. It's a long ass movie. <laughs> it's a long ass movie. That's what it is. There's no like climax at ever at the end of every episode. No, it, that's my issue. Yeah, it, it, it just it yeah. just makes you want to watch the next episode. It doesn't. <laughs> For me, it did. It <laughs> For the rest of us, it did. Right? I like how he's like turning away from me. He's like, For the rest of us. I don't know if you guys ever saw Lost, but Lost had you your mouth. You Your know what? jaws dropping at the end of every episode. Yes. It's so season. much for that ending, though, right? <laughs> but four seasons. I never finished Lost. It was just like, oh my gosh! Now I had to watch the next one because it just turned it on me. So I stopped watching Lost when I had read an article that J.J. Uh, Abrams, that was writing for Lost, said, "I don't know what the, I don't know where this story is going," and I was like, "I don't know where it's going either. I'm done with this." <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, heck, you can't go off of some article. Absolutely. You gotta go off of what they're giving you. This is what the director's giving me, and now I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm that lost show watching Lost. So How does good. that work? <laughs> that show is so good. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably get a lot of hate for that, but yeah. Every, at the end of every single episode, and that's why I, and my hour didn't seem wasted. <clears throat> right. and I feel like with this one, my hour was wasted, because now i got to see the next one. How many see. seasons was Lost? Six. And this is one. So exactly. we got we got five exactly. more to go. We got five more to go. Hold and on a minute. It's not keeping me. I don't. I just don't think I'm, you guys gonna be on your own. On the if they keep having them, they're like this. I'm well, if you found done. out this whole thing was a dream and they were all dead, then what? <laughs> then you're gonna punch it in that chum line. Right. Okay. So you guys know what I didn't like. Sure. Was there anything that you guys can say you didn't like or would do better? I, I do. I do. Okay. So the one main thing that like absolutely frustrated me with it was you know the kids lost their friend and they were going on the search for them okay and at the same time you know the other girl lost her friend and I don't know what's going on in these <laughs> these houses but the, these, oh, these yeah. siblings are not talking to each other it's like you lost your friend I lost my friend do you know what's going on? This is what I know. <laughs> and it wasn't until like the final episodes that they actually like, you know, worked cooperatively together. Do you have an older sibling? I do. I, I'm the youngest, actually. Do but you talk to your older sibling? Absolutely. Like the oldest one? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I think that was the, the thing. That it was, they were so far from each other that they don't really have a lot in common anyway. I mean, my, my sister is the oldest and we're eight years apart. But we're still pretty close. Yeah, we still talk. But I and think that's good. I think and if that's something good. like this goes down, she's gonna. Know I was about giving them the benefit of the doubt for that. Like, okay, right. he's ten, she's seventeen, or whatever. High school, elementary Maybe school. Maybe they just don't right. really interact a lot. I get that. Yeah, and I mean, even though, like, you know, when my sister was in high school and I was still in elementary, you know, uh, I still knew what was going on. <laughs> now, my issue with like that. I guess piggybacking on that was the mom and the um, 
and the son didn't communicate. That's right, yeah. That was my, I'm like, they should be talking. She should be like, what are you doing today? Or something like that. that. <laughs> you know, like, what, what's going on? Why are you buying all this stuff? Buying all this, you know, bear traps and stuff. Like, what's, what's happening? <laughs> right. And they could have, like, collaborated, or, um, did a collaborative, or they could have been collaborative. Yeah. And, you know, came together. Oh, that's another thing I did not like. Mm-hmm. When they go, when, when the older brother and the girl go to the house to go fight the uh, thing. Right. I felt like that plot point was pointless. Oh, had, really? It had no benefit. He wasn't when when you when the monster came back. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a different monster, but when he came back, mm-hmm. he wasn't limping. He wasn't burnt. Uh, so that's nothing. Not my theory is there's multiple multiple monsters. Uh, a yeah, no, obviously, th- no. There's a lot more than one for sure because they killed, a, like maybe a few of them. When? And <clears throat> well, I mean, they set one of them on fire and it died. Basically, no, it didn't die. oh, it, 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 went it went away. Went back. Right? It went yeah. back. Right. So I mean, if it died and it went into like that whole puff of ash or whatever you know i don't think it died so if it did i just feel like there's multiple monsters yeah well, i, I think have a, I, have a, I would have liked them to be a little more distinctive then yeah. right because yeah. then i could have been like okay well that's a different monster but then they want to put you in that suspenseful thriller aspect yeah. of it like I was oh did it hoping, die did it die i don't know i was going to see one to me. see one burned like right. i was hoping like when they went back to the world maybe when the cop and the mom were, were looking for will um, they came across the one that was wounded, and they like got a good look at it, you know. But it was still alive, so they booked it, you know. That, that would have been fun to see. Yeah. Um, to know because that would drop, that would be right away. Be like, so there is more of them, mm-hmm. you yeah. know. So, but uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just didn't. Um, didn't like. <laughs> there were a couple just small tweaks. Like I, I got irritated with the whole, um, you know, the the smart girl with the the rebellious boy type of thing. I was just like that. That kind of eked me. I'm just like, oh, come on, really, like. Uh, it's, it's just like little tidbits because it's just uh, I don't know but um, outside of that it wasn't the thing that I hated terribly or just strongly disliked um, the story did maintain a steady pace at some points and I was just like alright this needs to pick up just like you had hit at some points but um, I was willing to be patient with that and be like okay what's coming next because I want to know right and um, so I, I can honestly say there's nothing that I truly strongly disliked about it mm-hmm. uh, there were just points where I was like eh alright and I dealt with it and then it got better. So talk to your siblings, damn you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I know there's some other stuff that I just didn't like. Um, like I'm, not, I'm like thinking right now, like like the cop and how you know he like they drugged him and then he just woke up where he was, found the wire trap and like you know that was pretty much it. You know, so he went after them again. Oh, they kept talking about the media. How it's all over the news and things like that, but they never showed it like, like a clip of, or, or any media at the mom's house or at the funeral or anything. Like when you keep mentioning all the media, mm-hmm. like where is it? Yeah, yeah. Is there a newspaper that I can read? Right, <laughs> right, like, like something. And, and so that kind of like, like, oh, you guys are killing your own story. You're saying it in the show, but there's no media. There's never any flashes. No one taking pictures. Yeah, yeah. not at all. It's all a cover up. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I didn't, I didn't like that. But I mean, I'll say most of the things I didn't like. I, if I had to rate it, mm-hmm. I'm gonna so just gonna rate it. I'm probably gonna give it probably a five just because of the last two episodes. <laughs> but it probably would have got maybe like a four if it wasn't for the last. Two and, episodes. and now, if you have to give it a Netflix score, because this is Netflix and they do five stars, so what? Two star. Two star. Okay. Definitely. I don't want to. I don't want to say ones. So they don't recommend Netflix originals. Right. But just don't recommend that one. That one that specifically. Type, I guess, or mm-hmm. from that director, or whatever they're gonna story copy line. Like. Yeah. I just, for me, this didn't do it for me. I, I, if it wasn't for you guys and this break room blitz, we love it. <laughs> it, uh, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> now I'd turn it off the first episode. If they have season two, are you gonna watch it? I will watch it. Okay. The first. One or two episodes. <laughs> and it's where it goes and from there. From there, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to keep continue. I get if it. If it doesn't catch me in there, I, then I appreciate it's not the effort. Happen. I appreciate it. Because I know you powered through this one. Yeah. And I was, I mean, I was excited. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the way you people would describe it, the way right. the, yeah. um, the, the trailer looked, it looked like something I would be into. Like, I love Super 8. Right. It's like, the that, bee's knees. I love it. <laughs> you know, I would, that's like one of my favorite, I guess. Um, Sci-fi, newer kid, yeah, yeah. movies, you yeah, know. So, absolutely. but it just wasn't. Yeah, you know, it it just, I guess, fell fell flat for me. 
It's just so. like an homage to the Goonies type era, yeah. type of deal. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. And if I had to rate it, man, I'm going to give it a five Netflix score. Uh, out of 10, I got to give it like a 9 out of 10 because there are like little things here and there like we were mentioning earlier um, where there was like, hmm, I don't know about that and just don't see yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm waiting for, if, if season 2 was out right now, I would binge that too. <laughs> <laughs> to me, when you say that, you're saying it's up there with Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. Walking Dead, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say that. Yeah. It's up there with so Absolutely, yeah. Because even Walking Dead has those floater episodes where you're like, nothing happened. And right. But it I didn't start off like that, thing. though. It did not start off. <clears throat> the first four seasons, nothing but awesomeness. And then it kind of like, uh, what's happening? Why is this <coughs> awesome? Mm -hmm. But the first four seasons, you're getting awesome episodes. Right. They're capturing you right away. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's this. But I think for, so for it being, a, 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 again, this is a Netflix original. And was it original? Yeah, I think it was original. No, we just compared it to like 10 things. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 the, but those are like, you know, treasure hunts. had three kids that was hiding someone, but hiding an that's, alien. That's extraterrestrials. They had three kids that were hiding someone. Uh, extraterrestrials, and then you got Goonies on a treasure hunt. And then this one is an extra dimension, but they're all with different kids. There was original aspects in this, but there's that's the thing about, like, you can't necessarily come up with anything... I'm reading this book called Save the Cat, and like uh, the thing is, there's nothing original anymore. There, there's set genres, but it's not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing, the fact that you can relate several movies with it. Why? Because the fact that those are great movies that other people love, and you love yourself, you just gave these directors... I did not say that it was well, original. No, okay, well, so, uh, he said it was original. Well, it had, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's it carry, it carry, original. It is it's original, original to it's an not. extent, and it definitely has original <laughs> principles to it. But uh, it's, it's, uh, there it's you as go. far as being a full original movie, uh, show... It's definitely not. You can tell they took, they took ideas and concepts, but they reinvented them tight copy to tell a different, uh, to tell a different tale. <laughs> tight copy. <laughs> so I'm like, mm. I mean, I can't think of another show. I should wow. say we compared it to a lot of movies. Yeah. But wow. but we just compared it to Walking Dead, and you said it's up there. It's up there with Walking Dead. It's up there with you know Game of Thrones has got to be the bar. You know we don't have a Game of Thrones budget. <laughs> but we're Not on yet. budget, maybe with wow. Walking Dead ish. Yes, I can't. I can't see it. Okay, all right. So, all right. so um, <laughs> as far as Netflix goes, um, I, five star on it. Whoa, it's getting sweet. a five star on it. Loved it. it. Um, and oh, then no, as far no. as a, as far as a ten, it's it's not getting a t it's getting a nine point five only because I still feel like there's some development. But the thing is, it gave me nostalgia. It yes. gave me characters. It gave me my hero to villain complex because I hated the heck out of that woman that killed my cook who Why? made me my burger. Yes. I wanted to punch her. <laughs> right. and no remorse. Nothing yeah. on her face. And then Papa, I, I wanted to freaking Superman punch him. <laughs> I wanted to pick up L and say, I'm going to love you. <laughs> and you're going to get teddy bears and waffles and a waffle pizza. <laughs> like, uh, you know, and then just like, I hated that dude. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I, just, I agree. I wanted to Plus give you a baby. I will yeah, love you. I'm gonna love you. You know, I'm gonna give you the world. Absolutely. And then you, you know, when I want it, you're gonna do a, a floating show with all of my toys and my my freaking Star Wars ships, and you're just gonna make them crash and shoot each other. Like, I I just you know, I'm sitting there just like, I, but and the creature, he wasn't necessarily the villain for me. He was just he was something. That was there to to you know keep the story. I don't know, like I don't know how where to place the creature, but I right. just the hero to villain complex was there, and the story it wasn't like oh my god amazing. It got it kept getting better. It did what a story should do. It should it's baking you, mm -hmm. and it's 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 getting. But it dropped me right in the bucket from the. I'm table. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you take way too long <laughs> to cook me. Uh, I need to eat. He's it, done. Then it's like a fork. You know, well, within an hour, we are almost done. We, there's a waffle place somewhere around. I brushed your fifty. <laughs> I like waffles. I love Belgian waffles. Shoot, oh, I'm, I'm actually probably don't tempt me with a good time. Some waffles, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, definitely. I, I, I it's probably definitely one of my favorite shows in a good while. That was outside of the superhero movie genre, outside of the medieval movie genre. This like literally, it's not. It's like nothing else that's out right now. Right. Period. Mm -hmm. And that's that's that. I, I'm sorry, but they, they hit it home with that show yeah. straight up. And I love Netflix for doing that because Netflix is like, yeah, you know, uh, Netflix top tenfold credit because the thing is, you're doing like literally in my book seventy to eighty percent better than what 
you know, these big major production companies. I would say they, they knock out oh, about man. like 90% five star oh, yeah. shows. Absolutely. Like, they I haven't really, they haven't really done any movies. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they do have some, some movies, yeah. yeah they're okay. Some, yeah, but yeah. The, but shows. the shows, I feel like 90% of them are, oh, yeah. are good. Oh, yeah. And I appreciate them for that. I'm not trying to not Netflix. <laughs> make, go ahead, make a part two if you like. Oh, absolutely. I don't care. Please. Because you I feel like they don't have to answer to any of the studios. They just do what they want. There's a good collaboration. You know, and, with, and yeah. it's, it's yeah. what people, I think, are craving from other studios that they're just not getting because, of, you know, the studios have to worry about numbers and they have to worry about you know, ratings and all this stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Netflix is like, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to put it out. People, exactly. people are already subscribing to us anyway, right. yeah. so it doesn't matter. We got yeah. these many subscribers, you know. I think right. they're young enough. Cut out it. Yeah. They're young enough as a company to not be so mixed in with current politics that are in the bigger companies. So that's why they're able to do more original stuff. I hope so they stay like that. I, I really do. I, I dread the day that they maybe reach like their their you know whatever point where a company has to do something. And yeah, and I think that they're. <clears throat> it's funny that you say that too because the only thing that I can see Netflix actually doing just to hurt themselves is charging more. Uh, which they've already done and like removed and added shows, but I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it, you know, you got to make those decisions to like, you know, yeah. but quali- I mean, quality over jump. quantity. Like, it would be I would pay ten bucks. Yeah, don't, don't say that out loud. <laughs> I, would, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, enough. like, it's, it's, it's seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, what did it go up from? What, five bucks or six bucks? Or something, something like that. Yeah, I mean, if, if they would have they charged a dollar, right? I would have been like, fuck you guys. Well, then that's a wrap. Right, uh, yeah. like I'll be like, that's cold. Like now you're just getting greedy, but they're not getting greedy. They realize that they're getting good money for what they've got, and they're not digging too deep. And I stay that way because you will make a loyal guy out of me, and I will freaking be like, I'm not going to the movie theater no more. I'll just watch Netflix. Not really, I'm still going to the movies, <laughs> but <laughs> all I'm saying is, yeah, well, like... we got Rogue One coming out. I'm gonna have to go to the theaters for that, unless Netflix is like, watch at home, and I'll be like, ooh. <laughs> I'll still go to the theater, but then I'm like, oh, I'm at you home can, now. You Let me can watch it again. at home. Yeah. You just gotta get a, you gotta get a freaking lazy Susie or whatever it is, and then say, okay, when something big happens, shake my chair for me. And you're like, yeah. you can debox it at home. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the motion sense of your debox is. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? Do you think we've covered everything? That's uh, a wrap. You know, yeah, no, huge credit to all the kids. I mean, uh, they, you know. Oh, the whole cast was yeah. so original. You know, I don't. Re- and and I'm looking at the cast, mm-hmm. and I'm just remembering all their faces. Re- Renona w- Ryder, blah. You know, I mean, obviously we know her from a lot of other movies, but like the kids, uh, some of the other adults. I mean, I-, I like seeing new faces. I'm all about new actors. Yeah, just like, like come on, let's put them out yeah. there. And and I can't wait to see these other kids in other like big bigger screen movies. You know, they're gonna they're gonna grow up, and I'm gonna be like, I remember seeing that kid in Stranger Things. That's where right. you gotta start, right? <laughs> he had no teeth either. <laughs> no, I think one bomb I'll, I want to drop right now is um, so look for my. I'm doing character reviews specifically, and I've got Dustin That's from Stranger up. Things coming up. So next week you are gonna get the first illustrated character review from a TV show or movie. So I'll be doing a. Uh, the first one will be Dustin off of Stranger Things. We're going to have one for Gene Wilder as a memorial. And then I'll also be doing something from Penny Dreadful, which was an amazing show as well. So uh, look for those. Um, I'll try to get them out by next week. Wow. Talk about original. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, we all got some other stuff going on, but I can't remember everything by heart. Um, but we do appreciate likes. We do appreciate subscribers, uh, shares, you know, comments. We appreciate all that. So if you guys can go ahead and do that for us, that would be awesome. All right, this is Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Conch. Take care, guys. And we're out. Peace. Peace.